All right, uh, yes, family, we're live on Revolutionary Camp and family, we're here at our wonderful Ike's Cafe in Grill again. And every time we bring you here, you've seen how the place has developed and developed. And now we're here, uh, we're here with half our group, the other half is shopping at the Koto Center. So now we're gonna find a nice little location where we can all just jam and relax a little bit, right? And this is, uh, uh, this, all of this is Ike's uh, Cafe. And in previous years you have seen where the growth and development is. And we basically have just shown you over the years how things have developed. As you can see, family, we got the big red Kia VIP bus. I thought you guys were going shopping. Yeah, the shops are closed. All of them? Yeah. About five, six of them. All of them are closed. Oh yeah, please. A whole country, culture center. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, so tomorrow is not going to be good, well. Just put it up. And, uh, Nevertheless, uh, family, this is the stupid Rona 19 drama has led to where shops are closed and people normally make money in business or not in business as much. <laughs> so nevertheless, Sammy, we, we, we have proceeded from the Koto Center and the rest of the group is coming and we're going to find yeah. our nice location at Ike's home. Cafe. No smart. Now, now let's be realistic. How many uh, restaurants do you wear a mask at? I don't have any math. If it's going to be a bunch of drama, we're not coming back here tomorrow. I'm being honest with you. So, so I'll tough it out today because we placed the order, but tomorrow we'll go somewhere else. I don't have a mask and I was in Tanzania and it's, it's not that much different from this country. It's hot as hell. It's about 150 degrees. If I wear a mask and I collapse, who's going to pay the medical bill to take care of me? Immediately you enter. This is a bunch of dumb shit, man. Family, this coronavirus shit is stupid. If you just look at it from one step to the next. I understand people doing precaution, but how many restaurants you see everybody else with mask on? So as much as I like this place, I literally will, will, will switch up. All right, let's go. Let's stand here. All right. So, family, if you feel like you, if you feel like your breathing is restricted, just take the mask off. Anybody have any issues with you? We will just do what we need to do and leave. So. So I'm being real family, everybody that listens to the video, that's how I am as a person, I'm real, and you hear all kind of things in our recording. I'm not here to be a YouTube star or celebrity, I'm here to share documentation and be real with what we're doing as a people. I'm not walking to no restaurant where we just have a mask on and we can't eat. You already sweat the second you walk in. Right? You already sweat the second you walk in. You got more mask. Because them white devils in America and Europe, and piece of shit, that's why I hope they all disintegrate. They, they unleash the stupidity, they cause problems and problems. And then our people just literally just accept the dumb shit that these white devils from Europe and America uh, come out with. That's why I love it, enjoy being in Tanzania. They're like, what the hell with all the stupid stuff? I didn't see that one person outside the airport. With this mask. But nevertheless, family, we're in, we're in Africa. It's nice and hot, and we want to enjoy the air and enjoy and breathe the air. That's what we want to do. I'm coming too strong, family, and I'm not with it. We're in a nice little location here. We're going to set ourselves up and chill. Yes, family, tropical Africa. You start walking around with a bunch of masks, you're going to be collapsing and stricken your breathing. It's not a normal situation for your mouth and your nose to be restricted with air. 
Uh. That's why for me in the store that I need to get something. I go in there, put my mask on, get what I need to get and get out. But I'm not sitting in a restaurant with no mask on when I'm trying to enjoy my food and enjoy my socialization with my group. And that's for wherever we go, America, Europe, Africa, wherever. Greetings, my brother, how are you? Long time. Yes, man, long time, enjoying this view. And family, this is, um, we have literally seen where this has just grown and grown and grown. And this is where we are, family. So right now, it seems the situation is, you can wear a mask if you want, but it's not being forced. So it's all up to you, that I can respect. It has to be a situation where people can choose to do these things and not force upon them. And I remember when we first came here, all this overhead space and roofs and things we didn't see. This place has truly grown. Um, I'm trying to get a, some footage of the the, the, the hotel. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if they completed any of it, but I noticed the, the floors are going up. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yes, sir. We're 22 orders. And yeah, family, you know, you know, I gotta get. I gotta go off sometimes on these crazy things, man. That's what we're doing. But I remember this section was not how it is today. So this is what I'm showing the family. That's a hotel right here. They're building up. And across the street, you're seeing like a you know, village type resort set up. And this is what you know we do as a people. Invest our money. And here you guys, you can see. Some people have a mask, some people don't. So I can definitely honestly respect that. There's no mandatory situation. I'm serious, man. This, this Rona 19 is just straight drama. And I gotta always say, man, I was in Tanzania in November of 2020. We were literally find it very, very, very hard to find one or two people with masks on walking around the entire city, in different cities, outside of, you know, the airport, because it's that international connection, you know, you know where those rules are going to be in place, the airport and when you get on the flight itself. But outside of that, we're good. So when I came here to Ghana, it was a little bit more open where you see masks and everything, but, uh, I haven't seen any forced mandatory situation. He didn't explain to our, our guide in the, in the African Holocaust dungeon, Cape Coast, that we cannot do this. We cannot literally restrict our breathing of our nose and our mouth in, in a 90 degree weather in, in, you know, in the Holocaust dungeons because we can pass out and collapse and then what happens? You know, who, you know who's gonna take a medical bill for that? Yeah, so, we have to be wise as a people. You know, cleanliness, hands cleaning and things like that, it's all good. And the, even this other section right here. So they have a, a lot of complete sections you know, to where it's great for entertainment and social gathering. You know? <laughs> Make reservations, that's us. And we're all getting settled. Alright, so family journey continues. And that is our uh, Ike's Cafe. And the other part it did not show you is at the very top. And that was one of the first part that was constructed. And we have, eat, we have eaten up on this side before. It's a nice little chill area across here. 